So check it out guys, I got Rise of the Duelist, two boxes. We're gonna get right away and just start cutting right into it. Um, first video, no editing at all, so we're just gonna get right into it and just gonna start opening this up. And hopefully we get some good pulls. I've been seeing everyone else on YouTube getting the godliest of pulls, so I'm hoping to do the same and get some godly pulls as well. You know, everybody's looking for those starlights, so I'm hoping to get those starlights as well. Excuse me for my sloppiness, first one ever. So let's get it. I'm gonna start things off right here. Let's get our first one going. Cool. Oh, sweet. Uh, fl fluffle and fright for stuff, some Dogmatica. Cool. First super rare, sweet. Gaia support, that's awesome. Inferno Noble Knight. And then everything else is just extra. Oops. Ah, I'll just sort through it later. No worries. Let's hope that we can get a uh, Starlight going. Bam. We got two of these boxes to open up too, so that's pretty cool. New fluffle stuff. I mean, I don't know how you guys like these uh, openings to go, to be honest. There's our super. I usually, uh, I like to just get to the packs, and just get it done. See a lot of people do that whole suspense thing and be like, oh yeah, let's go slow. Um, but again, it's whatever. Uh, just go ahead and comment down below which you guys prefer because, you know, you guys are the viewers. You guys are the ones that are going to watch this stuff. I'm going to watch it eventually too. Whoa, sweet. First Ultra, awesome. Hey, Jamp. Oh, sweet, they got more Megalith support. That's cool. Let's see what else we got going on in here. So we got our first Ultra already, so that's pretty cool. Again, just trying to get that Starlight. Dark Lord, Dogmatica. I'm also looking for the Dogmatica stuff. Man, what? Another Ultra? Well, that rules out two of the Ultras right there. I don't even know. I don't even think that guy's worth anything, to be honest. Hoping I can get something worthwhile, but we'll see. We got two boxes to open, so... Let's get it. Super. That fluff will support the. I'm waiting for Blue Eyes to be great again. Let's make Blue Eyes a meta deck again, man. That'd be tight. Galloping Gaia, that's cool. They're fight for repair. I don't know, I man. I have mixed feelings about these cards. Hopefully, it'll be meta. The, uh, what, what are they called? The uh, Melfies? Hopefully they'll be meta, we'll see. Um, let's just cut right into it. Get some more stuff going. Hey, cool, Linker Bell, that's cool. Tinker Bell. Oh, sweet. I guess that a lot of people are raving about the Dark Lords coming back and being meta, possibly. Spiral Fusion, uh, Noble Knight stuff, Machina stuff. Cool. Let's get it. What else we got going on? Sweet, another super. Spiral discharge, spiral fusion. Let's get right into another one. Bam. This actor, Melfi tag, spiral reborn. Okay, so here's another ultra. I believe it's like four ultras, right? That's how it goes, four ultras. I don't think I've gotten into a secret rare yet. Supposedly like two secret rares per box. And, uh, we'll see what we get. I think the, a lot of the secret rares are a lot of the money cards. Like Dogmatica is really on fire right now. Pre-sales were ridiculous. I'm going I'm to I'm say this right now. And don't hate me secondary market. But um, you guys are aware of supply and demand, economics. You see these people posting like all of these cards for ridiculous prices for pre-sales and stuff a lot of the times or sometimes you it's like playing the stock market sometimes it'll just go up uh, you'll get it low you'll be able to buy it low and sell high but remember guys we don't solidify that price until we start buying them at that price so the minute they say this card is worth $80 pre-sale the people that are not making it any better are the people that are buying them 
No, I get it that the man too is what drives it a lot. Wow, there was there was like no secret on that side. That's crazy. That was the entire right side. There was no secret in there. That's crazy. Normally it's like one secret per side or something, right? No secret at all in there. Oh, hopefully that means we're just gonna get a starlight. So let's move right along. Okay, look at that forbidden droplet. Freaking awesome. Heck yeah, money card right there. That's gonna be meta. Let's uh, where can I put this bad boy? Let's just, man, I came unprepared. I actually didn't bring any, I have sleeves. I'm just, I'm just being ignorant. I didn't bring any sleeves, but um, wow, Forbidden Dropper, that's really cool. Uh, no secret on the, there was just one secret. I don't know, I don't know if it's mapped out anymore. Everybody was talking about it being mapped. This is a Kwaki Miru card, cool. Kwaki Miru supplier. Wow, I can't believe it. And I, okay guys, I'm, all, I'm a huge guy for buying singles. I'll be honest. I buy singles. I'm buying product because I want to be a content creator. So let's let's get it. That's the only reason why I'm doing this. I'm just buying the I'm buying the packs and the boxes and stuff to for the viewers. Um, also, if you guys want to see any of the crazy things, I see a lot of the other YouTubers that have a lot more time than I do on the in this area of expertise. They go off and do insane stuff. Like some of my favorites are Team Sam or uh, Team Samurai X1. He goes off and does crazy stuff. So, I question it all the time. I'm like, why did you spend a thousand dollars on something from like Amazon or eBay or something? But then I'm like, but I'm watching it. Like, you know, he got the views. No, he's he's a cool guy. I really love his energy. Um, Crush Card's a big inspiration too. They uh, they came out of the woodwork and shout outs to them, man. They're they they, they it feels like they can't like they're they're kind of like Ruggles. Like Ruggles came out of the woodwork and just like. You know, and I'm not saying like they came out of the woodwork like to insult them at all. I mean like they just came up out of nowhere and I'm watching both of them religiously. Whoa. Alright guys, comment down below. I can't remember if there's a price tag on this one that's pretty good or not. But go ahead and comment down below and let me know. That's our other ultra right there. I can't wait for a lot of that edge gym stuff, man. This looks gonna be cool. Or not the edge. I'm sorry, guys. I'm totally spacing. I mean, like fluffle support, man. That's what I'm looking forward to. I keep seeing this one on openings too. Oh, whoops. Let's not put him in the, in the ultra piles. Oh, wait. Let's show the rest of the pack off. All right. Cool. Man, that's crazy though. I feel like I got robbed on this on a secret rare. This is so crazy. But I got a forbidden droplet. Pretty much makes the value of the of the box. Which is, you know, which is really cool. So I'm really happy with that. All right, guys, we've got four packs left in this box. Let's figure this out. Linker Bell. I already have the. I already got the playset of these ones. That was cool from the Pegasus Joey pack. I think it was from. So I got two turtles. How many is that? Isn't isn't it supposed to be like comment down below, guys? But I thought I was only supposed to get four ultras, unless I'm unless I am mistaken, which is a possibility. So just let me comment down below, guys. So I've got six ultras so far and just one secret. So I'm kind of like, bro, where's my other secret? And then of course, all these supers because people weigh packs. Yeah, I didn't even know about weighing packs. That was ridiculous. One of my uh, best friends who is way more meta than I am and just got and he retired a couple of years ago he was telling me about scaling the pack so I was like no way people do that he's like yeah all right so that's super still not another secret last pack last pack I really think they robbed me of a secret it's supposed to be two secrets per pa uh, per box that's crazy but let's get it and see what we got going on no Starlighter also would have get there it is. Alright, cool. I was about to say, like, don't tell me they robbed me of the secrets out here. That's crazy. But uh no. Alright, so I've got two secrets. They're just both on the same side. So I don't know if that's what they're doing now to like stop mapping from happening, but that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna put the supers away. Again, guys, comment down below. Let me know how you like your openings, how you how you would appreciate them. I'm not very technically um capable of doing stuff like a lot of stuff yet, but you know, I'm gonna learn, obviously. So, second box, let's go. We're only, ah, not even 10 minutes in. That's cool. All 
All right, so we got one more chance to get a starlight. And I believe I made my money back just in this one right here. This one's worth a little bit too, I believe. Go ahead and comment down below the prices, guys. I'm probably I'm not gonna look them up until like uh, until later. So that's cool. Forbidden, forbidden drop. But like I said, I'm a huge advocate of buying singles, and I have those in my shopping cart, a TCG player. But I will definitely remove it and just put two in there unless, unless I pull another one in here. We'll see. So let's get this started. Let's let's get started. I feel like we got a lot of those already. Cool. So we got our super for the pack. Yeah, the commons, man. Bulk commons. It's crazy. I guess that's the one negative side of uh, opening a whole bunch of stuff. Um, bulk commons. Uh, also, spoiler alert, guys. I also did pre-order a case back in March of the 2020 Megatons. So prepare to be seeing that in the opening as well. Okay, Gaia, that's cool. I'm actually pretty happy that Gaia the Fierce Knight got some support. That's pretty cool. Hopefully he becomes meta. I mean, I mean, Konami, come on. You guys, I mean, I get it. This is like the first box that doesn't follow the anime anymore, but you guys really wanted people to... Like, for me, being a kid, because I've been on board with this game since it came out in the U.S. I think I was in a third, fourth, or fifth grade around there when it came out. And I've been, I've been on this game since. So, for me... It'd be cool if we saw a lot more cards or a lot more decks from the show become meta. That way, fanboys like myself could be like, yeah, like back in 2016 when Blue Eyes was meta. Then, you know, like my inner fanboy can come out and be like, yeah, heck yeah, we're going to we're gonna do some meta stuff out here. There goes that. We're going to do some meta stuff with uh, main character stuff out here. Hell yeah. Like... Of making Dark Magician meta, Red Eyes meta. That'd be cool. Let's see what else we got. Okay, cool. And for Noble Knight, Emperor Charles. Charles? That's cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know the ratios anymore. I thought I was only supposed to get four ultras per box, but I got six this box. I probably have to go do some investigating. Comment down below. Let me know if, if I'm just on one or something, but, um, I thought that I was supposed to only get four ultras, and but I got six in the last one, so that's pretty cool. And I got two secrets, so I guess that mapping's out of the question. Which is good. It's better to be randomized. I don't even know. Raid Raptor's supposed to be more meta relevant now or something, right? You guys can totally correct me downstairs, down in the comments below if I'm wrong. Right. Nice. Gaia, the magic, magical knight of dragons. Sweet. So that's the cover card. Unfortunately, he's just a uh, super rare. But he also comes in starlight, which I'm really hoping to pull. I'm really hoping to pull the starlight. Got four packs left on this side. Cool. Go ahead and put it like this. That way we know I'm not mixing them up. Starlight, Starbright. Come on, Starlight. Rock and roll, baby. You ready to rock? One world under rock. Comment down below, you guys can guess that. Uh, that little phrase I just said, one world under rock. I've got kids, all right, sue me. Thunderhand, I keep hearing people go crazy about that. Well, not crazy, but a lot of people acknowledge it. Durndal, that's cool. Durndal reminds me of Fire Emblem. I don't know if you guys ever played Fire Emblem. I played Fire uh, I played Fire Emblem uh, 7, apparently, in Japan. It was just titled Fire Emblem out here in the United States when it first rolled over here. I want to say it came over to the U.S. in, like, 2003. And I sat there waiting for the sequel to come out for the longest time, not realizing that, oh, wait a minute, they did the reverse, man. They pulled the Star Wars on us. They released the they released the sequel first and then released the prequel afterwards. Blizzard's a good card. Let's go back to that real quick. Uh, a lot of people are saying this is going to be a really good card. We'll see. I'll hold on to it and hope that it accumulates value or becomes meta relevant down the road. We'll see. Awesome. 
Ooh, Dogmatica. There we go. I could take him into the shopping cart, too. I mean, well, I've got a couple. But whatever, we'll see. Um, I'm going to try to pull out a... I'm going to try to get more... Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to try to get more packs for you guys tomorrow. So we'll see. Still can't believe I pulled a forbidden drop, but that's cool. I got one of the money cards right away. There's no... There's no secret in here. Or not secret, I'm sorry. There's no... Uh, dang, I didn't even get a secret on that side. I just noticed that. Wow. They are trifling. That's crazy. So that means that both of them are on that side. Again, that's crazy. I just realized that. Like, wow, that was the entire right side that I opened. And not a single secret rare. That's crazy. There we go. Wow. Take him out of the shopping cart, too. At least one of them. That's cool. Finally got the secret over here. I guess we'll put him right here. That's awesome. Let's get it. Share your energy with me. Cool. I'm telling you, man. I don't know. I don't know if Guy is going to become meta or not, but... That looks so cool. That looks really cool. Guess the redeemable jar is a super. I can't even tell. I couldn't even tell on camera like if this was super or not. It was like not that. It was not that uh, visibly holographic. Still got a chance to get that Starlight Rare. Oh, no, we're not getting it. Not in this pack. Let's get right into this. Oof. These two are kind of stuck together a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to go try and get some more packs for you guys tomorrow. See, uh, see what I can do. Upload that, too. Raid Raptor. I'm not left-handed, guys. I'm struggling right here. Oof. First time I pulled that one, I want to say. So the first box for sure made the money back, but I still have another secret to get. One more secret to pop open. I think they might... No. I mean, they can keep the secret if they give me a starlight. I mean, I'm always fine with that. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to go to Walmart tomorrow. and I'm going to try to buy out all the blisters I see. And um, I'll open that on the channel. <laughs> Love him or hate him. I know what... Sam from Team Samurai X1 means because I can smell them from I don't have to smell them up close but I can smell them from here I'm like wow fresh Yu-Gi-Oh cards they smell different <laughs> nice alright cool I want to say we made our money back yet again so that's the last secret um, that's, that's tight that's cool And then this one's gonna be the starlight. Let's do this. Let's do this slow. See, this is what I'm talking. This is what I'm talking about. Like, I can't. I just can't do it when they do it like this. I'm like, I can't do it, guys. Don't do it like this. But if that's what you guys like, you know, let me know. So what is all? Oh no, I skipped it. Yeah, we didn't get the starlight, but no worries. I, I can't. I don't really like that kind of opening. But if you guys do, let me know. All right, that's it for the opening. As you guys can see, these are our godlike poles right here. Let's move these commons, let's move these commoners out of the pick. We don't need these commoners there. So we've got, should have some ultras. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, that's weird. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
nine. So that means I only had three ultras in this box. Right? Or am I tripping? Eh, whatever. Anyways, there's nine of them. So that means one of them had four, one of them had five. So that's cool. Well, I mean, we saw it, we saw it earlier and one of them had six. So that means that one of them had three. Anyways, so that's it. Thanks for tuning into the video. You guys have a good one. And like I said, tomorrow I'm going to have some blisters in here and we're going to open those and hopefully we get some good pulls and hopefully you guys can share more of your energy with me I and mean, we'll be able to get some godlike pulls i like the blisters ratios a little more than than the boxes but it is what it is thanks again guys take it easy bye